What's up, everybody? Just wanted to create a video um, showing you guys the results of the survey that I did for the urban school. Um, I really appreciate a whole lot of you came through. Uh, obviously, not everyone, but uh, those that did, I really appreciate what, what uh, you guys taking the time to, to give me some of your opinions. So the first thing I wanted to start off with is the results of the survey. Um, and for those of you that uh, didn't take it, basically, I'm starting a, an audio school. It's called the Urban School of Music. It's going to be the first online audio school that focuses on audio. Uh, I'm sorry, focuses on urban music. Um, so there's going to be like mixing and mastering courses. Um, it's going to be production courses, and eventually it's going to be expanding from there as I bring on board other casts that I feel are pertinent to, to this game. Because it's not just it's not just going to be like a generic thing where I'm bringing on board like just regular people. No, it has to be people who are really prevalent in the game. Who know hip hop, you know, who grew up and who eat this stuff. Uh, and it's not just hip hop, it'll be hip hop RB and some, you know, EDM as well, because EDM is considered urban nowadays, uh, at least here in New York and in some of the, the big the big cities uh, across uh, the United States. So here are the results. Uh, it was four courses that I was considering, um, you know, I was trying to decide which one I wanted to start with out of the four, because I'm only one person, <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, you know, it takes a lot of time to put these courses together. So I said, you know what, I want to I want to take I want to make sure that I'm putting together the one course, at least to, to launch the school, the one course that most people are hungry for. So here are the results on the screen. As you see, uh, the first one was uh, right here was a home recording course. The second one was a digital mixing course. The third one was an advanced mixing course. And the fourth was music production course. Now, they're all pretty close as far as the amount of people interested so it was like wow um you know I, I was very grateful i was like wow a lot of people you know different people like different things but the one that stood out the most here is the digital mixing course um not only that does it have the most amount of votes or it's tied with the advanced course but it also has the uh, least amount of not interested so you know other than that it would have been a very close tie with the advanced Nevertheless, they all got a lot of votes, but only one, you know, has to be the one that I focus on. So I'm going to focus on the digital mixing course because that will apply to artists who are recording at home, which, you know, a lot of my followers are artists. And, um, you know, as of recent, I've I've also learned, that, you know, the other half of those followers are producers, you know, which I, I, I honestly never really paid attention to as much until I started doing surveys and really connecting with people on a, on a deeper level. I'm like, word, like you're a customer of mine. Like I, you know, producers have been buying my music as well, you know, to probably study it, you know, maybe get a kick or a snare out of it, who, you know, for whatever purposes, or maybe they're artists themselves um, or work with artists. So nevertheless, this course will, uh, will apply to both markets, which is great. Um, and then, you know, from there on, I'll, I'll decide which is going to be the next course. Um, so the next thing I wanted to share is, uh, uh, you know, the journey building the school has been, has been, has been a real fun journey. Um, you know, what, the first thing I was actually trying was for, uh, I came up with the name urban audio school. <clears throat> now the name sounds pretty cool, but I didn't want to have like a long, like a really long URL. So I was stuck, um, trying to get urban and somebody owns that. And uh, I reached out to homeboy. I was like, yo, you know, it's like name, name a price because he's not doing anything with the domain. He's got a bunch of and I don't know. Nowadays, I haven't checked. I haven't checked in about a year. But back then, you know, I was looking at the domain regularly. He had like a web store there selling MP3 players from way back in the day. It was obviously like a, like a dead site. Nothing. Nobody was. In. So I was like, yo, how much you want to sell it for? Blah, 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 blah. And homeboy really swears to God that his URL is like. A godsend or something because he was just he wouldn't even entertain an offer he was just like you know it's got to be a, a considerable offer i didn't even remember what the lingo homeboy was i was like really like like i was like look I'll, look I, I got a limited budget i offered him a g and he was just like that's not even in, you know like he wasn't even trying to have a conversation i was like you know what you could eat your domain you know why because i don't really need it i just took some time i said you know screw him and sure enough, I found a bigger company who owned UrbanSchool.com. 
And I was like, you know what? This is even better because instead of calling the school urban audio school, then I'm just stuck to just audio. My vision is bigger than that. I said, if the name isn't tied to any one particular area of creativity, it could expand in the future. So I was like, so we could start off with urban school of music and then expand it to urban school of music and arts or music and film. And and basically it'll be the same theme in all these other creative areas. So this worked out much better. I did pay a, a, a handsome amount of money for the for the domain, um, but it, it's going to be worth it. Urbanschool.com is very simple. Um, it's super premium. Everybody's like, where? Like, where? How did you get that? But nevertheless, it must it must be destiny because uh, I got my hands on it. La, next thing I wanted to share with you guys is just a just a quick. Let me see how much time this thing gives me because it doesn't give me a lot of time. Where is this thing? got a little little timer here all right so I got about four minutes I'm gonna try to sift through so I wanted to sift through some of your submissions real quick and and just see a lot of people are really excited about some of the stuff so I wanted to uh, <clears throat> just share some some of the words and comments uh, one of the questions in it was uh what do you feel your weak area is in, in the music production uh, with so many plugins to choose from it's so easy to get lost in the mix so to speak so my problem lies in knowing what to use in order to get my vocals to sound how I want. All right, and that was uh, a message from Silex. Let me just go through a couple of these. Uh, here we have a message from Marcus. He says, um, uh, you know, his, his weakness is advanced mixing and mastering. I think, uh, I think it's a great idea. Traditional schools are too broad in their perspective. I think that there would be a great way to focus. I think this would be great to focus on a style of music that people want to make. Uh, exactly, Marcus, that, that's the idea behind this. Um, I didn't want to just make a generic um, school because there's plenty of those out there and the truth is that's the whole reason why I'm doing the urban school of music because you know you're not going to go to Ozzy Osbourne to get hip-hop beats why because that's not what he does so why go to a school that has a bunch of rock instructors you know or dudes who are in, in other genres other than what you want to do they're not going to it's not the same it's not the same. OK, yes, yeah, sure. A drum is a drum, but that drum can be played in a lot of different ways. And learning from people who are in the game is just going to bring you that much closer to your goal. So so thanks for that, Marcus. Uh, real quick, just uh, see if I could get another one, couple in here. Uh, I heard of uh, let's see here. Feel like it's about time. We got what us artists so long awaited and prayed for. That's from Carlos. Yes, sir, bro. Uh, I hear you on that. Uh, here we got. Um, I think it would be a great idea. I would love to learn from you and your techniques. This would be great because a lot of artists and producers are self-taught these days, like myself. Exactly. And that's the idea here. Um, um, here we have uh, Cordell. And uh, what, what does he say? I need to expand my music production into other areas as well and learn everything possible to enhance my vocal mixing and mastering. So that's pretty dope. I mean, those, those are some of the, the key ideas you know, behind the school, uh, you know, it, it, it's to it's to get the independent artist uh, or producer who's at home who doesn't have a lot of budget, who maybe who doesn't have rich parents who's going to put them through one of these expensive schools and whatnot. And that's the that's the the main premise behind the school. All right, so uh, so I just wanted to uh, finish off the video with a timeline of events, um, which you might have seen in the beginning. This is uh, what's called a Gantt chart, and it helps you when you're doing a big project like this to lay everything out on a timeline. So right now, this is where we're at. Uh, the time of this video is June 5th. And as you see, everything is laid out here. And these little boxes represent all the projects that I have to do and hire people to do to get this school launch going. So right now, it's looking like it's about a month out from all of the projects uh, to possibly uh, uh, you know, get, get a finished product going for, for this initial course. And I'm going to be starting off with the logo design. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to use this site here called 99designs. Um, and uh, you just post up, you know, a job bid and a bunch of designers will come on board and try to give you some hot. This That's going to be dope. Uh, it's going to be interesting. So uh, that's it for now. Um, you know, I've only got 10 minutes with these, these videos. Uh, leave, leave me your comments below here on the blog post and um, let me know what you guys think uh, of the school and other ideas that you guys are coming up with. I'd love to... Uh, to hear your thoughts on this a little bit further. I want to keep you guys in the loop all the way through the whole process. All right. DJ Nade D, Beats Planet, Urban School of Music, signing out. Peace.